got this yarn and it's really nice and it's a reflective yarn red heart reflective yarn isn't it neat so, so what it is is at night when if you're a runner or if you're out at night walking and the headlights hit your gear or whatever you are wearing with this yarn it goes boom it's gonna reflect the little the little thread that's in between and not only that the, the yarn itself does oh really yeah so anyway i bought this little bag at uh i bought it at hobby mm, lobby hobby lobby and it was 99 cents <laughs> Anyway, this is the way it came, not without without this. This I put on later, but this is the way it is. See, it's a bag, and you can fit here your iPhone, your passport, your car keys, your ID, whatever you need to get in there, and then you put it over your head and your shoulders. So I put it in there, and when I sewed the bag, I sewed it leaving a little bit of a gap on either side here. Now this stitch is the double seat stitch. So please look at the instructions. We have instructions on how to make it. And this is 30 stitches with a size 10 knitting needle. Double seat stitch and then here and there I made an eye cord with three. A three eye cord stitch so what you do is that you knit one you knit another and through the back you knit two together and then you bring them back to your left hand needle uh, we do have a video on that so this is neat 30 stitches and make it as long as you need to and then I sewed uh, the the bottom and the sides because I made it in two parts. You can make it all in one but I wanted the finished eye cord so I did it from here to there and then from here around to there and then I sewed it on the, on the bottom and on the sides and now I am going to sew let me get this out of here and now I'm going to go to the back and I will, I will sew uh, the bag to the zipper and so this is what it is Okay. the color of the thread is almost the same so it's difficult to see it so I am going to sew it there and so you go to the top take another piece from the last stitch of the eye cord and then bring it back and take another piece here and it's you know right there at the edge right there so like that you have your eye cord that is not completely on the zipper but it the eye cord will cover it and this kind of zipper does not get stuck on your yarn so that's what it is and I will see you when I finish it but this is the way you do it you go back and forth get a little piece from the bottom take another piece from the top on the last stitch and of course you have to keep measuring it because you don't want you want it even so and I'll see you in a few minutes need it to uh, change yarn I mean thread to keep sewing so this is a trick that I have if you have you pass your thread through your needle and then you put the two ends together you make a knot there and then you put your needle where you want it I want it right there and instead of having a lot of knots everywhere, pass your thread through, open the two threads and then you pass your needle through there. So like that you, you're sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Ok, 
okay there it's a very funny color okay so I'm gonna keep sewing this and I'll come back and show you the end piece this is nice so this is the bag it's already finished and this is how the zipper works see and it's nice it I sewed it and that's the stitching under there show me show it again please yeah this is how it looks the stitching yeah but this is how it looks let me show it and so you open your zipper and your thread is there it's at the edge so if you open this it is the last stitch of your eye cord with the far part of the fabric right there so the zipper is there and before the seam so it's right there so it's and then you know on on the sides make sure they they close and then that's it and you have a very nice bag see so let me show you how to make a tassel this is a very simple one I mean there's gadgets to show you how to make fancy ones but this is just a simple one you cut two pieces of your yarn or since I don't have a lot this is what was left over from that bag you take your hand put your yarn there and go around as many times as you want and let's make it a little bit bigger because I think I have enough yarn so you can make it any size so there we go go around like so as many times as you wish but I'm going to finish the yarn so there it is now I'm going to pass one yarn over underneath and all the stitches so this is going to be the part that is going to close everything make a knot there very very tight very very tight so very very tight a double knot there and now you hold all these little thingies there place it there with the other piece you make another knot There it is, and there it is, and so if you want to pass it through underneath, that's okay, if not, and then if you have pieces here that are popping out, you can find them under here, and, but that's it, and then what you do is that all these you open them all there and then since they are not the same because not all the rounds on your fingers were the same take it and kind of try to give it a haircut <laughs> Isn't that cute? 